So we are here today at the a magnificent Stadium of Light, home of Sunderland AFC. And it's home to the fantastic inaugural Street Soccer Northern Cup. I'm here with Liam, the lead coach on our Sunderland Street Soccer Academy. Liam, it's not a pleasure to be here, it's freezing. Why is it so cold up in Sunderland? Oh, that's the weird Northern. It's ridiculous, too. but anyway, it's great to see you, mate. Um, just wanted to first of all ask you about how you've seen and felt, felt the programme's gone this last sort of term. Yeah, I think it's uh, been amazing, amazing results. Um, different dynamics, different backgrounds of people that's come in. Um, and everyone's just getting on really well. So I'm here with Jack, who has just um, completed and successfully graduated from our street soccer program at Sunderland. Hi, Hi Jack. Right. Jack, can you tell me why you joined the street soccer program in the first place? Um, for me, it was to get to get a bit more experience with uh, football and uh, playing playing with uh, local lads in the area. And then it's opened up more door, opened up so many doors for me and opportunities why I've been on the course. So I'm really enjoying it. Blackpool Street Soccer Academy is the first one, yeah. so the first programme you've ever run in partnership with us as a foundation. Yeah. How have you found it? Uh, it's been really good, especially the, I know the young people have definitely enjoyed it because they've been here every week, they've gained skills like good CV writing, we've checked the CVs all up to date now. They've even grown like the first few weeks they wouldn't even speak to each other in that room, but now the minibus down here, they're all having banter with each other. I came from addiction myself and um, I've been through some rough times, like a lot of young lads have, and um, this course is absolutely, like it really is, it really is a great course, because it's, like even thinking about it makes me a bit emotional, because I've met some good lads here, and probably friends for life, and I just want to motivate and inspire other young people to actually just give new things a go, because you never know until you try, and if you don't try, you'll never know. No, that's absolutely, so, that's yeah. so, so true. So, from. From, the, from day one, uh, I'm walking in on day one to now, how would you say the difference, not only in yourself, but the others around you? Yeah. What changes have you seen happen? Well, when we first got together, I think some of the lads didn't really get along. It was, there was a lot of arguing the first few weeks, but we, I've had chats with each other, and we've been men, and we've been able to talk things out. And um, like I say, when I first started, I feel like I'm, I'm more selfless now. I feel like I've noticed, look, I can't let my teammates down, and even if I don't feel up to it, I need to be there for my team. So I feel like it's definitely helped me to uh, benefit and grow as a person, definitely. Uh, and what about today at, at the Northern Cup? You know, we've got Blackpool and we've got Sheffield United here. How is it to meet others from other areas? Yeah, it's great. It's um, especially with people in uh, familiar situations as myself, you know. So what do you think you've learned mostly, if you could take one thing away, what was the main thing? I said I've learned a lot of uh, things like in terms of ambition, goals and getting and having dedication to set goals, to set, uh, set targets to get things done and completed. So what does the future hold for you, Curtis? Hopefully I want full-time employment on this, pro pro on this programme. I love it, I, lo I love being a part of it, but I want something more permanent on this, on this programme because it's what I'm about. I like, before, mental health and everything, it weren't, it weren't I didn't think of it in any way, but now, seeing what other people are going through, what they've been through, I want to help them out as best as I can. And this course is the first steps to doing that. You told me earlier when we had a little chat you wasn't really into football. I've yeah. seen you out there today smashing it, yeah. so how do you feel about football now? Uh, honestly, I did, like you say, it wasn't something I'd ever play, I thought I'd ever play, but um, coming now, it's something I feel like I can definitely do for the rest of my life. Even if I'm just going out and playing a bit of football with the lads, I'm not out causing trouble or hurting myself or anyone else. Congratulations on your journey. It sounds like you've had an amazing time yeah, and, and you've changed as a person, which is actually all we want this programme to do, is to, for you to be the best version of you you can be and you're well on your way for that. Definitely. So good luck for the rest of today. Thank you, thank you for talking to us. Yeah, thank do you, you do hugs? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Let's do hugs. Thank Thanks, you. mate. Then she starts to cry.
even thinking about it makes me a bit emotional because I've met some good lads here and probably friends for life. Yeah.